Welcome back to My Time to Fly. We're out at the airport today because I'm finally going to inspect my airplane for the service bulletin M20-345 that came out for all M20 model Moonies with smooth skinned elevators. So I'm pretty confident, I feel a little foolish maybe not knowing this, but pretty confident mine is smooth skin. Uh, and the issue is the counterweights on uh, on the elevator at some point were made um, with two dissimilar metals which called, caused or two dissimilar materials which caused galvanic corrosion and over time apparently 50 years or 60 years whatever it is um, these things are starting to corrode and then crack and uh, potentially fail so uh, the way the service bulletin reads if if it's there if it shows even if it doesn't show corrosion, I, I believe if if that weight is on there and it's a two-part weight, not a solid steel weight, technically we're not supposed to be able to fly. Now, I think that these weights were only used on F model Moonies and mine is a C, but because I know that my airplane had to gear up at some point and it had repairs, there's always the chance that they used a, not, or they used a different weight, um, a two-part weight that could have the problem. So... I'm going to go into the hangar and I guess take a peek. All right, so we're in the hangar. Passed by some of our hangar mates, the old Cub and uh, 172. And there's the uh, pretty Mooney. Sometimes I call it pretty. Sometimes I call it ugly. Get a little light on the situation here. So go right to it. Smooth skin, right? You can see smooth skin elevator. So the ones that are not affected by the service bulletin have ribs up and down them. So we're definitely uh, affected in that way. And here's the weight, right? Uh, they, if they're not two parts, so if they don't have a hole drilled up them, then you're good. So on the Left elevator looks good, just a solid, uh, solid steel. Go around to the right elevator, that looks good too. So I guess we're not affected. You know, it's a pretty big relief uh, that those are good. Uh, honestly, I hadn't looked until just now. I was pretty confident knowing the model of the airplane that it probably wasn't gonna have a problem, but um, I feel for anybody that is affected. Technically, they say you're not supposed to fly if you have the old ones. And other than finding them in a salvage yard, I don't know that those parts are real easy to find at the moment. So I'm sure hopeful that uh, somebody can quickly get to making some weights and, uh, and meet the need for the community. And I just didn't need another thing to worry about on this. So I'm glad that that's, uh, that's fixed up. It is uh, Friday and we've got a beautiful stretch of four days here in Michigan. It's a little windy right now um, and I got my oldest daughter with me so we're gonna uh, keep the airplane on the ground at this very moment but it looks like Sunday we're planning to get the airplane up maybe go do a little color tour and um, maybe grab some breakfast uh, Sunday morning so anyways I'll get to get that on on some video and we'll keep the keep the videos coming thanks again for being here if you haven't already make sure you go check out my apparel store I'll put a link in the description below and uh, you can always go right to my YouTube page. There's a tab called store. Check out some of the aviation merchandise for sale. I'm going to keep growing that thing and uh, just looking to promote general aviation. So if there's something you want to see on there, don't hesitate to let me know. We'll see you all real soon.